For today's tutorial, we're going to tackle about optimal merge pattern as one of the algorithm design strategy. Now what is optimal merge pattern? Merge is a set of sorted files of different length into a single sorted file. In this optimal merge pattern, we need to find the optimal solution where the resultant file will be generated in a minimum time. If the number of sorted files are given, there are many ways to merge them into a single sorted file. This merge can be performed in a pair wise. Hence, this type of merging is called two-way merge patterns. So as different pairing requires different amounts of time, in this strategy, we want to determine an optimal way of merging many files together. At each step, two shortest sequence or values are being merged as an ultimate rule in Grady method of optimal merge pattern. For example, we have here set of files which is A, B, C, and D with the sizes of 8, 4, 3, and 7. Let us consider the given files with their values respectively. If merge operations are performed according to the provided sequence, which is by default, we're going to use the merge pattern to resolve this problem. Result will be like this. In using optimal merge pattern, pairwise is being used to come up with the result that is adding a pair of numbers or values which is 8 plus 4 and we come up 12 and then from this total number by adding it for the values as pair for example 12 and 3 for us to come up with a total of 15 and then another pair for the last element of values 7 uh, will be paired to 15 for us to have a total of 22. For us now to compute or to determine if how much is the total cost of merging, that is by adding 12 plus 15 plus 22 as the total merging sequence for coming up a total of 49. The question is, is there any other operation other than this? Another example is this one. Sorting the numbers according to their size in ascending order. That means, hindi sa simula mag-start yung pattern but it will start at the end. So by means of adding a pair of values using 3 and 7, we come up now a total of 10. And this total is being paired to another values or size, which is 10 and 4, for coming up a total of 14. And then the last pair would be 14 and 8, for coming up a total of 22. And then the same with that previous uh, example, for us to determine the total time of merging, we're going to add up all of the total merge pattern which is 10 plus 14 plus 22 which is equals to 46 so 46 now is our total cost of merge pattern previously we have 49 and now we have 46 and the question is is there any other better solution we're going to use the optimal merge pattern using the two shortest sequence of values which is we're going to sort first the data before pairing it to other lowest value. For example, we're going to pair the values of 3 and 4 as the lowest values from among them. Since 3 and 4 is lowest than 7 and 8, therefore we're going to add 3 and 4 as our first pair element so therefore 3 plus 4 is 7 and then the total of 7 will be 
added to the element of 7 as pair. 7 plus 7 is 14. And this total of 14 will be paired into the value of 8. Therefore, we're going to have a total of 22. And to determine the total cost of merging time as the optimal merge pattern sequence, 7 plus 14 plus 22 is 43. As what you observe in the sequence, it adds a pair of lowest size value in which uh, enable the result of minimal or we should say a better solution of all the presented sequence earlier. We have 46, 49 and the last one is 43. The goal of optimal merge pattern is to end up with a minimal or a minimum number of total cost of merging and therefore this last solution is the best for this problem. Let's take another example considering the given files of F1 to F5 with the values of 20, 30, 10, 5, and 30 as number of elements respectively or we can consider it as sizes. Presented in a table, files and sizes as reflected in the problem F1 to F5 and the values of the given problem. In dealing with the optimal merge pattern, you have always uh, think of the smallest pair values. And that's why we have sorted the files according to the sizes of its element. Therefore, from 20, 30, 10, 5, and 30, we have now 5, 10, 20, 30, and 30. In this context, we're going to solve the problem using optimal merge pattern. In step 1, we're going to use a pairwise in which the two smallest values will be added as pair. Like for example, 5 and 10 as the lowest among all the elements or values. We're going to add 5 and 10 in order for us to have a value of 15. In step 2, we're going to find another values which uh, can be added in the total element or total result of merging in the first step. Therefore, in step 2, we're going to add the total of 15 by the value of 20. Since hindi pwede si 30 at saka si another 30. Kasi mas mababa si 20 sa kanilang nalawa. Going to add 15 and 20 for us to have a total of 35. That's for step 2. In step 3, since the total merge is 35 and the given values is 30 and 30, therefore we're not going to pair 35 to 30 kasi may another 30 na mas mababa sa 35. So in step 3, we're going to pair the two given values which is 30 and 30 and this time we're going to have a total of 60. And then step 4, since 35 and 60 is the last sequence that are given from the values, we're going to add a pair of 35 and 60 to come up with a total of 95. Since the solution takes 15 plus 35 plus 60 plus 95 is equivalent to 205 numbers of comparisons or as an optimal merge pattern. Two-way merge patterns can be represented by binary merge 3. Yung tawag sa sequence na ginawa natin kanina is binary merge 3. The leaf nodes are drawn as squares and represented the given files and this is what we call external nodes. So yung mga square na nakalagay yung mga given values are considered as external nodes. And then the remaining nodes are drawn in a circular are called internal nodes. And that concludes how to apply a merge pattern as one of the algorithm design strategies.